Hello and welcome. Today I want to show you which cards I got in the 40 packs that I opened for Hearthstone's new expansion, which is the Grand Tournament. Did I get lucky or not? That's for you to decide. So have a look, enjoy, and let me know in the comments if I got lucky or not. Pretty good looking at animation. Let's see. One epic card. That dread steed probably not gonna be played, but maybe someone's able to make it work. Beatrop looks pretty decent though. Oh, another epic. Well, that's a good one. Like a good pack. Giving me a lot of dust, maybe. <laughs> it looks good. Dama could be interesting. Mm. Also good, some of the cards are obviously really strong in Arena. Most of them are probably not gonna be played as far as I can tell. Let's see, Rare and Epic. Pretty good, actually the Dark Bargain can be a really strong card. I mean, destroy two minions, discard two cards. Well, if you don't play a Handlock, you're not necessarily having that many cards in the late game and destroying two random enemy minions can be game winning so could be played pit fighter seems to be a really good card for arena mm. yeah the rest is not so much Healing Wave is uh, a card that I really like, so let's see how it plays out in the actual game. And what do, what else? Mm. Refreshment Vendor seems to be really strong in Arena. Yeah, I guess. Oi, getting lucky. You can use your hero power twice a turn. Seems to be interesting. So every class, not just the mage, gets to use their hero power multiple times. And also, if you combine it with the card that uh, I think some maiden of the lake is called, you get to use your hero power twice for the same amount of mana that you would usually invest. Burrow. Turtle seems to be a really interesting card, though it might not be worth it, but I think it's actually good in fun decks, and why not have fun, right? This is a game to have fun. Totem Golem, obviously a really, really strong card. Probably the strongest two drop in the game. In terms of stats, at least, right? Golden Common. An Attendee, yeah. So, another Burgle. Darnessus Aspirant, pretty good, probably really really strong, or has the potential to be really strong, and if your enemy misses a 2 drop or can't deal with it immediately, you're going to get such a huge lead. Let's see, oh, that's going to be good. Sarat, one of if not the best legendary. Pretty good. Let's see what else? This Seal of the Champions is probably going to be really strong in Arena. Nicholas, even not so much. Just another attendee. Every second pack has an attendee. Guess we are all attendee. K 
King's Allied, pretty good, pretty good. So, also the Spell Slinger seems to be interesting at least. The Heckler, well, yeah, Power Creep, but that's about it. Still not going to be played. Another Alec. Give a minion taunt. Well, can be used to circumvent uh, people that protect the uh, min their minions with taunts. So you give another minion you want to really kill. Also taunt and just attack it. Why not? Could be useful if the meta changes to include a lot of taunts. So far I don't see it. Lots of Alex. Guess I have to play Hunter, even though I can't use four or six of them. Hmm. Draw two cards, overload two. Yeah. Not sure. I'd rather have the Arcane Intellect draw. Two cards for three, don't overload. Hmm. Okay. That looks good. Cool pack. Grand Crusader at a random Paladin card to end. Why not? Why not? Preferably something like Tyrion, right? Golden Common. That's going to be a lot of dust. Assuming that I have them in common already, which I should by the end of this. Yeah, yeah another totem golem, 3 4 for 2 with overload 1, pretty strong. Ram Ram Wrangler. Ram Wrangler. Hmm. Pretty expensive. I don't think it's worth it. So yeah, Lowly Squire seems to be an interesting one drop. But would you want to use your hero power on turn two? Usually not, right? Otherwise, it's probably not worth it. So. A quick shot in form of a creature, which is 2 1. Mm, okay. Flame Lance? I don't know. If you really want to deal with something, you're just going to sheep it, anyways. It's also going to deal with it. Effigy? That sounds like an interesting card. I'm really looking forward to see what you can make. Of it and how good it actually is because it sounds like a very powerful effect but it's basically just kind of a mirror image right it's just that your enemy or your opponent can't really play around it too much oh another really good pack tiny knight of evil Beneath the grounds, yeah, I don't like that one, but okay. Hmm. Burglar, stealing all the cars. Playing for double burl and nefarian, why not? One of shadows, deal 4 damage to each hero. You can probably play Shadow Priest with this, huh? Mind Blast, Shadow Form, stuff like that. Could be interesting to see if that works. <laughs> Most likely not, but yeah. Restore 7 health to your hero, why not? If you play a high cost Paladin deck. Oh, double epic, Enderia. Meta Squire to your hand. You can use your hero power again. 
got that quite a few times. Time for a second legendary. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, ten more cards or part packs to go, so Charge is still there. Double rare. Fleshy, I actually like the card. Could be really interesting to see if you can make it work with the Oken Okanai and then just destroy your enemy with all the healing spells you got. It seems like a really interesting way of dealing with things, so. I can't open them. No. Colosseum Manager, yeah, probably one of the weakest rare cards. Good for Arena that it's so weak. Don't like the effect. Could be strong. Maiden of the Lake, this one's probably really, really strong if the meta shifts to using your hero power very frequently. Charge and stealth. Yeah. Murloc Knight. That's actually a pretty strong card. For six mana you get at least at least five six of stats. Could be a lot better and you get it over multiple creatures, so he might not be able to deal with everything immediately. Ooh, look at that. What's it going to be? Mistcaller, actually a really hyped card, but hmm, maybe not that strong. Got a quite a few shaman cards though, so might try out shaman. More rare cards, cold and common and an epic. Gosh. Yeah, getting rid of something for three, not bad. Though you might give your ha your opponent Deathwing. Uh, not good in the top deck scenario, but can be game winning, I guess. Can also not be game winning. And the third legendary would probably be too much, right? 1 in 20 is what you usually aim for. I think I got quite like. Oh, look at the Kuldara Drake. I think I don't have that so far, so it's going to be interesting. And the last one. What is the last one? Oh, wow, look at that. Three rares and an epic. Farewell party, huh? Astral Communion. Gain 10 mana and discard your hand. These 10 mana are already confirmed that they are permanent, so if you manage to, for some reason, pull this off with coin in a way turn 1, then you're going to have 10 mana crystals for the rest of the game. Problem is you don't have a hand, so well, at least you can play everything, right? Might be working with Deathwing because you don't have a hand, anyways. Okay, so yeah, thank you for watching and like, comment, and subscribe. Bye bye.